Okay, here we have a lovely model which we want to cut into parts. The first thing we need to do is make sure we've applied the scale and rotation to this model. Now, this particular model, I haven't done any scaling or rotation, but we still need to make sure. Select the model, object, apply, rotation and scale. The next thing you want to check is that your origin is in the right place. So object, set origin, origin to geometry. The next thing you want to do is make sure your normal is all pointing in the right direction. Here you have a little checkbox for face orientation. Check that and everything will go blue if it's correct. Mine doesn't go blue because I've set mine to transparent. But nevertheless, you want blue. Turn it off when you don't want blue anymore. Okay, so let's select our object and make sure that the ball tool add-on is enabled. That is perfect. And now create a plane. Scale it up. Rotate around the X. Move it where we want it to go. What we want to cut. We have a lovely plane. With the plane selected, select the dog, pull tool, slice, you're done. If we grab the dog's bum, you now see we have two objects. Now, if we want to put a keying cube or some shape like that in the model, we will do the following steps grab one part of your model and turn it off. Put the 3D cursor in the center here and add a cube. Scale it to the size you want. And then duplicate it. Over here, turn the duplicate off. And now select that. Select the dog. Union. Okay, now we need to do the other side. Now we've done one cube here, we want to make a hole in the other side which is slightly bigger than the size of this cube to account for tolerances on the 3D printer. So bring back the first part and turn off the bit we've just done and turn on the cube, the duplicate cube we made before. Now if we look, we have a cube here but it's exactly the same size as the cube we had on the other half. We now need to increase the size of this, and the best way to do it is manually here. Now I have 0 0.656 millimeters on each side for this cube, and I'll make it 0 0.8. There we go. Now all we need to do is go back to the ball tool. Have that object selected already. Select the rest of the object and do a difference. Okay, we have a hole here. And we have a peg there. Simple. 